Kids 105.3 and 1340. We're hip hop and RB Lev today party with your favorite DJ, DJ D Sewell. Y'all, let's discuss some hip hop news now. It is time for D Sewell. What the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, once again, we got a shout out to Rihanna. Uh, she killed the halftime show, and y'all, she got that big game boost too. Now, a lot of people were talking about, and I don't know why, that uh, she didn't get paid for the Super Bowl. Nobody gets paid when they perform at the Super Bowl. Bowl. But what they do get is a boost in like every single thing that they're doing. And Rihanna felt that boost uh, from her stream. They went up from like 650% to uh, searches for her Fenty Beauty brand. It went up 133% and uh, she gained 2.5 million new followers on IG. So y'all, she made that money back just straight up. So big shout out to Rihanna for still killing it. Y'all, in other news, we got to give a huge shout out to Pharrell. He is set to become the head of menswear at Louis Vuitton. Now Pharrell has worked with Bape and Adidas in the past. And uh, he is set to replace Virgil Abloh, who passed away in 2021. R.I.P. to Virgil. And this is huge for Pharrell. They said that his first line is coming out next year, I believe. So uh, we can check that out then. Y'all, in other news, we got to talk about Chris Marie. He had his thoughts on UFOs. You haven't seen the United States government has shot down four objects in the sky. One of them was a Chinese balloon that was doing surveillance. And the other three objects were unidentified. And y'all, Chris Brown said that extraterrestrials have been visiting for a long time. And some are even living among. He says they are just now acknowledging the possibilities of UFOs. Y'all, I'm going to give you my two cents on what's going on right now. Y'all, they shot down that weather balloon. They felt it quick. They shot down those three other things. They ain't put no pictures out. They ain't found no debris. They ain't found nothing. Something ain't right, y'all. That's all I can tell you. I don't know what it is, but something ain't quite right. Y'all in other news, Ray J versus Raz B. Y'all, long story short, Ray J and Raz B was working together for a new streaming platform called Dodge. They had a show called Dodge Fight Club. Well, they finished filming the season. Ray J checked it out, and Ray J didn't like it. Ray J said it was too violent. He said they was enabling substance abuse, and Ray J said he wanted to be a solution and not the problem. Raz B said, man, you directed some of the episodes. Like, no, nah, you got us out here looking bad. You trying to renege. I ain't going for that. So anyway, y'all, Raz B and Ray J bumped into each other, and they had a little altercation. And y'all, in other news, we got to talk about Robert Glasper. Yes, the Robert Glasper that beat Chris Brown for a Grammy for Best R&B Album. And Chris Brown said, who the F is Robert Glasper? Well, Robert Glasper capitalized off of that, made shirts, the shirt sold out. Robert Glasper sent a big thank you to his fans, and he said also that a portion of the proceeds would go to the Community Music Center of New Orleans. Y'all, Robert Glasper is a good dude. I don't know nothing about him. I know he make jazz-ish R&B. I rock with how he capitalized off of that moment and made something positive with it. And y'all, last but not least, Sweetie is to appear on this season of Bel Air. Jabari Banks, who plays Will Smith, says she was super prepared and even more prepared than they expected her to be and said that uh, having her on set was super exciting. Feel a little bit about what she'll be doing. He said it had something to do with a big party scene that she was a part of. But season two of Bel Air aired yesterday. Y'all, that is what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. sharp right here on the Kits with a 5.3, 1340.